Good deal. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Well, hey, today we're loving the start of March Madness. It's time, folks. And joining me this morning, Antonio Clark, to give us the latest and greatest on what's up with March Madness. Tony, we'll just jump right in. We got our brackets here. We're looking at them. What's, uh, what's going on with yours? We've been talking SEC basketball all yeah. year. I'm Big Boo Nation. I'm a Kentucky fan. I got Kentucky going all the way. Coach Cal and the guys, I think we finally get it done. We haven't since 2012. We had that team in 2014 with Carl Anthony Towns, super loaded. Made it to the Final Four, didn't get it done. I think this year we get it done in a wide open field. Absolutely, it is a wide open field. It doesn't feel like there are any favorites. I've actually got Kentucky going down in the Elite Eight to UCLA. I do want to take a look at the top half of the bracket here. We didn't really get to Gonzaga last hour. Where are you sitting on the number one overall seed? I, I got Gonzaga making it to the Final Four and losing to Kentucky <laughs> in the Final Four. But I, I think Chet Holmgren gets it done. I see you wrote too skinny on yeah, yours. Yeah, look, okay, here's my thing. He's 7'1", 195 pounds. I'm 5'11", 200 pounds. Okay, me 14 inches taller, I'm just saying, you could break that boy like a twig. They get somebody who's actually got some meat on his bones, they're going to bully him left and right. I, 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 think, I think Gonzaga, you know, they've had this experience. You know, they made it last year. I think, I think they get it done. Absolutely. I've actually got them losing to Arkansas. I gave it the SEC a lot of love this year. Some things I just want to point out, my Final Four, I've actually got UCLA going up. Uh, Duke, Villanova, Auburn. So a bunch of two seeds, Duke, actually. Duke. Duke yeah. hasn't looked that good this year. They haven't, but it's Coach K's last year. I'm imagining the boys are really going to put the extra effort in, do what they can to make Duke get through. I've got them going all the way to the final, but then I've got them going down to Jay Wright's crew in Villanova. I, I, I don't see Villanova getting it done, but that Duke, that would be an amazing story. Could you imagine that one shining moment with Coach K? Truly. Winning it all, making it to the Final Four, that would be amazing. In his last year, it would be the perfect icing on top of the cake that's been his career. Um, some other things I want to point out. Local. Yes. CSU. Absolutely. Mountain West basketball is a lot better than people People don't know it. They don't understand it. But the Mountain West can play basketball. I think CSU, I think they're for sure going to win this first round game. Them against Tennessee, that's tough sledding. But if they get that done, the sky's the limit. Absolutely. I've actually got them going through to the Sweet 16. I've got them beating Tennessee. I cannot stress enough. I despise Tennessee. So that was a homer pick there. Another homer pick I've got, I've actually got UAB in the first round of games. I've got UAB the 12 <laughs> seed upsetting the 5 seed Houston. That's a, Again, that's a homer thing. They're from Alabama. So. I will say this, though. In the NCAA tournament throughout history, the 12-5 game is the game that you know, that's that upset mm -hmm. that typically happens. Absolutely. So, I mean, that does bode well for them. It absolutely does. And I think they might be the only 12 seed that I picked. Other than that, I'm putting a lot of my eggs in the Auburn basket. I'm an Alabama fan. I went to Alabama. But even still, I had to give Auburn some love. That team is very good. Jabari Smith, you've got a potential top pick in there. Number one pick. Number one. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's an incredible player, and I think he's going to be able to take Auburn at least through to the Final Four, potentially even further. These aren't the only brackets we got, though. Don't we have another bracket? We do have another bracket, actually. Chris has decided to give us a bracket. If we could pull that up. Uh, yeah, so I used the most scientific formula to calculate March Madness, and by that, I mean I flipped a coin a whole bunch. And, well, <laughs> somehow I ended up with Fullerton, the 15. C winning the whole thing, so you know there's that, but the Queen also managed to pick Kentucky getting to the Final Four, so maybe they'll end up winning this one. That's all I got. Yeah, maybe I do <laughs> want to point out that Chris had the top overall seed, Gonzaga, losing to Georgia State in the first round. So, uh, Chris, big basketball fan, got a lot of knowledge in there. We'll, <laughs> well, sadly, that's all the time we have to talk about March Madness, but we'll be back after the break with more news, whether it's sports. Stick around.